Welcome back to Ramsey Land. Today, let's explore the solubility of ammonia gas. Check this out. All you need for this reaction is, of course, some ammonia, a beaker with some distilled water, a flask that has another flask that's attached to the top of it, and a couple of stoppers, and of course some phenothaline as an indicator, and a heat gun or a Bunsen burner to heat up your ammonia. Start by adding some distilled water to your lower flask, and then add a few drops of phenothaline. And notice the color of your solution. Here's a few drops of phenothaline. This is my indicator. And I'm just gonna kind of swirl it around a little bit. So phenothaline, when there's a pH of less than eight, when the solution is either neutral or slightly acidic, is clear. And when it has a pH level of more than eight, that's when you know that the solution is alkaline or base. So for instance, ammonia should definitely turn the solution to a bright pink, but right now we can see it's clear. The next step is to add a little bit of ammonia to your second flask and to start to heat it over your heat source, whether it's a Bunsen burner, I'm gonna use a heat gun, until you build up a lot of ammonia gas inside. There it goes. You can see that the ammonia gas that combines with water immediately turns that indicator pink. And that's because ammonia is alkaline and it has a pH of above eight, which causes the phenothaline to turn pink. Isn't that amazing? The solubility of ammonia gas in water.